interested in die. I so die should be also interested in farming. I mean, I've always wanted to do the farming part, so. Well, if you want to do some farming, first thing we need is metal. Lots of it. I know. Because first you got to make a good greenhouse, and then you got to make pipes. All right, where is my raptor? Your raptor should be wherever you left it. Here you are, reptar. Because it's your raptor, remember? I said that. It was very clear. Oh, right. I was getting thatch. <laughs> and Charlie sucks some butt. Can you not put meat in this damn thing? No, you can't, because it's not an oven. It's not a cooking place. But I will give you some good news. What? The beaver has a saddle. Yay, good for you. So I could at least cook it in the cooking pot. So now you can use it to gather wood rather than ha using your hands. Charlie Zard. Yep. Uh, Charlie? Mm-hmm. Who told you you can cook meat in the cooking pot? I need some meat cooked. Yeah, you can't cook meat in the cooking pot. Oh, it let me put it in there. Yeah, well, it also lets me put rocks, flint, and metal in there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me make us a good fire. Unlike your crappy subpar fire, mine will actually be usable. <laughs> Yeah, I got an S plus campfire for us right here by the door. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Charlie, you got some meat cooking in here. Good. What happened to that giant cobra? <sighs> what? Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. This is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. Your bird's not a good canvas. What? Your bird's not a good canvas for it. Don't worry Charlie, about it. Charlie, don't yes. try painting the dinosaurs. It's a waste of resources. You'd be far better off painting your own tools and shit. I can paint my own tools? Of course you can. What the fuck? But I want to paint something on Also, your don't open the front door. Why? There are truodons outside, and they'll come rushing in. And okay. we don't want truodons inside the base. I'm going to whistle passive and deal with them.
I like how long one piece of dye actually lasts, too. What? I like how long a single piece of dye also lasts. Yeah, well, you know, dyes die. Okay. So they've been dealt with. We still have this giraffe outside. Yeah, no. I could try to make some kind of rudimentary trap, but he'd probably step over it. We can't. Well, I'm, never mind. I was saying, I ain't made me a bow to knock him out yet, is all. Yeah, we, we ain't got... Yeah, you actually need to make a bow. So, that being said, how about you uh, get a new torch, walk out here on your beaver, and uh, gather some wood? It's an you know, idea. In, instead of going in there, painting things, and using up all of our charcoal on paint, when we should be using it on gunpowder... Yeah, I'm not making any more. I just kind of wanted to use it a little bit because I got the paintbrush from um yeah. from a from that from that drop. Yeah, that absolutely useless drop. So, you know, I'm I'm actually a little jealous. Well, well, when when I tamed my leather wing, um, it was a hell of a lot harder. I mean, seriously, I had to literally lure one all the way to the trap, lure it in, and then try to get it to stay in there just long enough for me to shut the damn door on it. And finally I managed to get it in, and finally I managed to knock it out, and finally I managed to tame it. And, and we had one show up at our front door and come into our house like that. Yeah. That, that that that's just infuriating right there. That's what that is. You know? Mm-hmm. I like how the doors have a collective seizure when I walk in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've researched the crossbow and I still can't fucking find it. In my crafting. Are you looking in your inventory? Crossbow. Charlie. Yes. You're being stupid. Oh, because I physically have it in my inventory now, don't I? No. No. Okay, Charlie, tell me what you saw on that crossbow. Huh? Tell me what you the, saw the one when I just you researched. were looking at the crossbow. As in when you physically had one in your hands. I don't even know anymore. Okay, I you know what? Crossbow. Here, here. Okay, okay, here. Yeah. All right, yeah. Here. You were holding one in your hand. Oh, it's, it's, this can one. be crafted in smithy. It's made of metal, stupid. Yeah, I had the... At the thing. smithy, yes. Birds. The thing that is making metal. The smithy. No, not the dino saddle crafter. The smithy. It should be under weapons. Ranged. There you go. You got one. I'm so tempted to just shoot you in the head and take it from you as soon as you grab it. <laughs> Why did you drop all of your stone arrows? I had one. Oh. Alright, so I need to go outside with the beaver and do what? Uh, and gather some wood. In the middle of the fucking night. Well, you know, you could make a torch. Oh, I have a torch in my inventory, actually. Yeah, put the torch in your inventory and then ride out on the beaver. Here, I'll even, uh, I'll increase his weight and, uh, his, uh, melee. And bite some trees. Don't wander too far from camp, though. There are dangerous all right, all right, uh, predators. All right. all right, you want to see my torch? 
Yeah, you're Sparkler. I know. Sparkler. Here, leave the door open so I can keep an eye on you here. That thing is not the most powerful animal out here in the forest right now. Matter of fact, I'm keeping a lookout to make sure that Alpha Carno isn't getting too close. How much wood do I need? Uh, just, just try and get that thing up to as much as it can carry. I'll be here a while. Yeah, hey. And it has a terrible turning radius. Of course it has a terrible turning radius. It's a gathering dino, not a war dino. Charlie, did you just run past a Truodon? I don't know. It has bright eye spots. I can see it from here. Yeah, I guess I did. Well, don't go near it again. It'll probably try and kill you. And what's bad is I, I had low stamina when I did that. Yeah. I have a handful of um, wood now. Well, is it all the way filled, though? It's halfway filled, and I have one, two, three, four, five stacks of 100 and, Go and ahead, a stack fill of 88. It up. Fill it up. Seriously. You can never have too much wood. I'm aware of this, but it is not I'm sitting out here and shit. watching your back. This this bird, though it may seem kind of ungainly, is far stronger than a pteranodon. Something leveled up. Must have been the beaver, but it didn't give me the prompt to. Up oh, there it is. That's pretty much full. Okay. I'm out of stamina, so. Don't worry. You're in no immediate danger. Not. This thing's I'm just so fucking slow. Yeah, worst case scenario, uh, Alpha Carno comes running out, and I gotta rush over there and grab you. Gosh darn it, move! Charlie, I see the Alpha Carno. Get moving. I, I, I leveled up my movement speed. I don't care, Charlie. Just get in the house. I, I, I know. I was, I was just letting you know. I, that, that's why I was not moving. Yeah, I see the Alpha Carnotaur. <laughs> He's over there by where the giraffe is right now. I always knew you was a giraffe. Alright, so where do I put all this wood? Uh, wherever you feel like putting it. Either in the fireplaces, in the, um... You, you could have gotten some smaller portions if you wanted. Here, I'll get you a split of meat. Here, Charlie. Once you put the wood down, I'll hand you half a stack of meat. I don't think it'd be any use in there, so I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, now you're learning. It's just no, like, over a thousand wood, I think. Yeah. Here, pick up your meat. Why is there an entire um, forge in, two forges okay, in this thing? Why are you asking questions instead of picking up your meat? Because I'm putting fucking wood in there. No, you're asking questions about why we have two forges in there when I told you to stop placing forges. Eventually, we're going to replace this whole corner with an industrial forge. Also, why are these... Oh, right, because I put them out. I put them out because they would have hurt the pteranodon. Or the leatherwing, rather. Yeah. So what was it that's outside? Uh, Alpha Carno. Carnotaur, okay. Yeah, an Alpha Carnotaur. Would you like to view it from the balcony? 
That's kind of what I was going to do. Yeah, let's go take a look and see if we can spot it. You can usually see alpha creatures from a distance because they have this flaming red haze around them. I don't know. I don't see it over here. It should be over in that direction. Yeah, he's somewhere up there by the giraffe. You know what? Let's see if we can get a better look at him. Where's Leatherwing? Here. Here. Stand still. I'll get us a good view. I'll make sure to keep us high so he doesn't spot us. You see him? No. I see the, gira I see the giraffe. But I don't see him. Usually they glow. Something orange, but he's underneath the trees, and plus the light from the red obelisk doesn't make it very easy to spot. Ah, uh, I hear him! Ah, uh, yeah, I see him. Where? He's right to our left. Right under the tree line. Yeah, I see the haze now. Yeah, that red fiery haze. He's right underneath. And why don't we try him? Try taking him? Uh, Charlie? Yeah. An Alpha Carno is something that you kill with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No. Oh. Yeah, it's it's not something the two losers with a high-level raptor and a leather wing try to kill. You know, <laughs> it's, that's that's just a statement of fact right there. If we went against him, we would lose, and we would lose hard. <laughs> Because remember this saying here, and it, it will continue to come up over and over and over again as long as we're in this game. Um, we are not the biggest thing on the island, and to believe we are is folly. Yeah. We are actually very close to the bottom of the food chain in this game. We can become the top of the food chain, but right now we are very close to the bottom. Yep. I mean, right now our closest thing to a step up in the food chain is the leather wing we managed to capture by some dumbass luck. That, that, that is the measure of our success. Are you stuck? No, I'm um, looking at it. It's a, it's a trinodon. I saw something down there moving. Yeah, it's true, Don. You can see its eye spots. Go up. I wouldn't laugh if you fall over that railing somehow. Oh, I can see the uh, cars over very clearly from here, Charlie. Up on top of my roof. You mean the impossibly tall ladder? Um, I don't think you could actually see it from inside. Here, I'll take you up. I'm so already you can inside. See. No. Charlie, I, can't I can see him actually very well. Yeah. Through the window I yeah. opened. Yeah, that's a problem though. He's close to our door. Which means I'm probably going to have to try and lure him away, and that's always going to be messy. Yeah, because I kind of needed to get out. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and lure him. Stay up there, actually. That's probably your safest place to be. I mean, I'll Here, see. Carno, 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 Carno. Then I can't watch what you do. He's running after someone. After something. 
No, he's not running after someone. Oh, I see him now. Okay. He is, like, right outside the house. Holy crap. Did you hit him? Yes, I did hit him. And there's no there's no chance of, of knocking him, is there? No, you can't knock out a now. Oh. Yeah, let me lure him towards the water. Eventually, he may get tired and drown. Can't see him at all. There we go. He's in the water now. Just like the cobra. Like, did you knock him off the cliff? Yeah, I drove him off the cliff. Oh. See, that's that's why I like to settle near cliffs. Uh, it's fun to throw you off of them, and fun to have other dinosaurs fall off of them, trying to kill me. Hey, how long have we been recording, anyway? No idea. Well, it's 12 o'clock right now. 12.20, oh, no. actually. I oh, know. I'm getting ready to wrap it up, really. Yeah, I was about there, too. Uh, so, if we are going to wrap it up for the night, what I would suggest we do is we take our flyers and we park them inside. Yep. After I do this. After you do what? Uh, place some more torches. <laughs> Why? It's at our old base, and I need to grab some water. Wait, uh, at your old base? What? Why are you at placing... The, at the one directly next to us. <sighs> Why are you doing that? Because I have extras. Then why not save them? For a trap, maybe. That you could light up. Because I, I only put one outside of it and then just one inside and that's it. That way if we ever have to just go there in like a retreat or something, we at least aren't in complete darkness. Well, okay. I'll wait for you to get back and then I'll close the uh, ceiling hatch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having... What? How did I end up back outside? Because you completely missed the ceiling hatch. I mean, like, seriously. That skybox is kind of big from inside. Huh? I'm going to try and see if I can find some patch that I can put on my roof somehow and then through that. Okay, Mr. Robot. What? Why are you calling me Mr. Robot? You went robot -y. Oh, I went robot beep? Yeah. Am I using the cat as a pillow? Uh, no, the cat's just on your shoulder. If you hit E and then double tap F, you'll get uh, get him off you. Yeah, I want him to stay on me. No. Well, or will he die? No, he'll just hop off you. Onto the ground. As soon as you log out. Oh, well that's no fun. It's for me. Well, all right then. I hope everyone here has enjoyed this, and I will see you yeah. next time. Though I have yeah, enjoy really quite enjoyed actually having light now. However, I hate that they go out too early. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's something you could manually fix, but uh... yeah, my ass ain't doing that. Yeah. Okay. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.